This week's episode of Dignation is brought to you by GoDaddy.com, Cashfly.com, and Firecock. Browsers for chickens. Firecock. <laughs> Welcome to Dignation. Also potentially hazardous to your health. All right, moving on. Why do you have flies in your freaking house? I know this in Southern California. It's Southern California, and I have fruit. You put zombie and you put eerie in the title, and I don't want to do it. Dignation.com. Hello and welcome to Dignation episode number 71. I'm Alex Albrecht. And I'm Kevin Rose. Dignation covers some of the weekly top stories on the social news website, dig.com. That's D-I-G-G.com. That is correct. Mm. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of a different show, <laughs> yes. right? Uh, because it's the morning mm -hmm. and uh, we are not, we're going to forego beers in, uh, in lieu of tea and coffee. Well, you know, you can't drink every night. <laughs> well, but we try to prove that but, wrong right. every, every day. So we figured why not clean out the system a little bit with a little fresh green tea. And some green coffee. Um, no, I, it's funny because uh, uh, we never have coffee on the show. No, we don't. I mean, we've done tea a couple times. Mm -hmm. um, we've done beer a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, but we've never done coffee. And it's probably because you don't drink coffee. Yes, that's true. That could be part of it. I'd... Uh, so I thought we would, uh, we would brew up some coffee. Get going a little bit. You know, I do, I do like coffee, but I have to say that uh, I've kind of weaned myself away from that, from more of uh, the tea factor. Why? Just because, you know, you drink a couple cups of coffee and you're amped and it's good, but it's kind of this nervous energy kind of going on. I don't know on. what you're talking about. You're fucking weird. Am I? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah, of okay, course. Okay, okay. So, I don't, I don't, my day doesn't feel complete unless I have that nervous, well, weird energy. That's what, uh, tea gives you a subtle buzz because there is caffeine in green tea, but yeah. it's not as much and it's kind of just more. So you, you know, drink like 10 cups of green tea instead of two or ah, three cups of coffee. Well, that, and there's all those studies that say that, you know, I mean, there's so many antioxidants and good things in green tea and it's like, you know, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so, but uh, I have become a little bit of a tea snob, which is kind of weird. You have? What, what's that? Did you think, you know, when you were rolling hard on Las Vegas Strip that you'd be like, I'm gonna be all about fucking tea when I grow up. Well, like knowing about it and drinking it. You know what I wish I knew more about was about wine? Cause tea is like, come on, you're not gonna get anywhere with tea. But yeah, if you know well, a lot about wine. I know. You uh, In the, the pooper. Yes. <laughs> uh, wine is hard though, because wine, there's like, there's so much to know about wine. I just can't tell the difference. I drink yeah. it and I'm like, that's good wine. I can, t I can tell if it's good or not. Mm. Can't tell you what kind it is. I don't know. Sometimes you can't though, because sometimes there's those wines where it's like they this costs seven hundred dollars, and you drink it, and you're like, that tastes like ass, and all those other snobbies are like, ooh, I can really feel the nuttiness, and yeah, you're like, no, it tastes bad. Because I like a good bottle, of, you know, two dollar one, two buck chuck or something. That like stuff's that. pretty good actually. That's yeah, not bad. I always just pick out the ones with kind of like uh, the coolest label. That's yes. the problem. Is people go? <laughs> no, I'm serious. That was exactly it's what like, I was gonna say. It's a big deal in like the wine industry because it's like it could be the best bottle of wine ever, and if it has a shitty label, oh, nobody there's no way I'm buying it. Yeah, nobody buys it. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> anyway, interesting. That was a funny point. We should move on. First story of mm. the day. First story of the day, uh, Galactica sequel tells how the robot war began. 765 people dug the story submitted by Krissick. Uh, Sci-Fi Channel is pushing ahead with plans to develop a spin-off to Battlestar Galactica, the network's most buzz show uh, ever. The first draft of Caprica scripts, uh, a series that will take place about 50 years before the war bef between the machines and man at the heart of Galactica, arrived at the network this week. It was a very weirdly written. <laughs> Although I have to say, it's interesting reading this without a buzz. Yes. Because I felt like I was actually very, uh, you know, I was like, 765 people dug the story submitted by Krizik. <laughs> it's like, wow, that was impressive. <laughs> I'm not usually that good. So here's the deal. Well, no, seriously, <sighs> I'm. A, oh. I was pretty shocked when you said you wanted to talk about the story today because you have not been. I have been a Battlestar supporter. I've I've been an anti-Battlestar supporter. You have been Mr. Galactica, as it were. I have. I although oh. I was uh, I was I was I kind of didn't start watching this season, and then yeah. and then um, Posh sent me an IM. She's like, "You've been watching a lot." I'm like, "No, no, no." She's like, "Come on." I'm like, "All right." Got back into it. Awesome. Yeah, I've heard the season is really really good. Again, I will say, I watched the miniseries. 
It was utter hot poop. It was good. Some people may say it's good. That's fine. In my opinion, not a good show. Okay. So I didn't watch. Right. And then everybody goes, oh, blah, 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 blah. And that just made me not want to watch it more because I was like, you know what? I've, I've seen it. I didn't like it. Don't tell me I'm an idiot for not liking it. All right. Which clearly I guess I am. You are an idiot. Uh, and I'll tell you what it was. It was United Airlines. It was the in-flight entertainment. United Airlines was the did. worst. Dude, because... When they do those previews, like, behind the scenes. No, no, no. It wasn't a behind the scenes, because before they released episode three, Sci-Fi put together you a... Mean series this, three. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, season three. Right. Um, uh, Sci-Fi put together this thing that was like, this is what has happened in Battlestar Galactica up to season three. But it's, like, narrated. It's, like, you know, this whole big thing. I mean, it's almost like a full episode. Was it kind of a, so it didn't have that behind the scenes kind of there deal? There was no behind the okay, scenes. Okay, so it was like you were really in it. It was narrated by it. the president chick. Ah. Oh. And she was like, you know, you know, it's what the whole thing of like 50 years ago, Earth, you know, Caprica decided oh. blah, 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 blah. And then they have like clips, like you actually see like scenes from the from the, the different episodes leading up so and all this stuff. So it's basically like, you haven't been watching it, idiot. This is what's happened in the last right, week. Right. So that you can start watching it and feel okay about it. Mm -hmm. And I have to say, dude, like half the thing that sucked was it was halfway through that they were like, uh, we're preparing to land the in flight, and I was like, what happened to the chick? They put their stuck on Caprica. There's been nuclear blast. Like, dude, it was like, what happened? You need to, dude. And when I landed, I was like, that was it. I was, I know I haven't because I want. I, I'm thinking I want to watch season two. two. You probably should. Like at season one, I know what happened. Like you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. They run it, whatever. Netflix but, season two. Yeah. Get caught up, and then we're only three deep. Season three or four deep. Exactly, four and deep then I can catch deep. up on that. Four deep. Yeah, yeah. I can catch up on that. But okay, but so about the story. So I'm sort of okay. I'm not 100% hooked because mm -hmm. I haven't seen any of the series, but uh, I can see its its cool factor. Wait, do you see way. what happened last week? I can't wait to see what happened last week. But we need to talk about this because this is actually I'm gonna say a little disappointing. What? They're coming out with a sequel? No, no, no. I like that they're coming out with a sequel. But did you? Re I, you obviously didn't read the story. I did indeed. So you it's read the part years before the War of the Machines? Yeah, you didn't read the full story. <laughs> because halfway through the story, it says, oh yeah, by the way, this is not a sci-fi action adventure. This is not a show about the war. It's a family and political drama. Could be good. Well, if they're showing... So where does this actually... Is this like It takes place birth? on Caprica. Is this when they first like started corporate. creating? Yeah, it's where they first started creating well, that's kind of fun, because they probably started with like Roombas. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, meet the Cylons. <laughs> they're like, like, they're wow, like cleaning wow, your carpet wow, and shit. Yeah, like, like, Meh. We are Cylons. <laughs> Bang. That's awesome. It's like, these need to be smarter. <laughs> <laughs> what could go wrong? That would be great if they started off as Roombas. Just Roombas, yeah. And they're like, stop. Oh, God, this oh, he's kicking me. into the thing again. Oh, we need to make him a little smarter. <laughs> and it's like, I will make a nuclear weapon and destroy you. Uh, That's so funny. They just can't communicate that they're really trying to kill people by hitting them in the shin. They're like, like, this thing's stupid. It just keeps hitting me in the shin. And it's like, ah, die, you <laughs> head. <laughs> like, we need to make them smarter. Dude. That is a mod. <laughs> Somebody needs to make a Cylon Roomba mod mm. where it goes. Whoo, 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 whoo. Oh yes, yes. yes. I would buy awesome. a Roomba if I, they made a Cylon and version. And it was all chrome. Oh, dude. Yeah. And maybe it has like a voice modulate chip in there so it can say some stuff like quotes. Yes. No, they don't talk. They oh. did in the original series, didn't they? No, they just go. Whoo, whoo, whoo. Yeah, but they were like, I'm gonna be loud, but they were about Cylons out here, Bob Z. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah. they did have that kind of. Cylon go pooper. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I'd love the idea that they'd be Roombas to start. That was even before Stephen Hawking had that voice. Um, oh, Prager. Prager. Prager's making Stephen Hawking Prager jokes. Prager has a Stephen Hawking joke. That's good. He likes them. All right. <laughs> but I'm worried. I mean, I like the idea of you like. Divorce, by the way. I know. How do you get divorced as Stephen Hawking? I don't know. Anyway. Anyway, uh, I guess you just go, I'd like a divorce. And then oh, that happens. Dude, that's terrible. Oh, it's not. That's how you talk. Um, anyway, no, but so I'm a little bit nervous because I, I like the idea of spin off. I mean, spin offs, spin offs are always touchy. They rarely are successful. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Hello, Joey. You know what I mean? Oh, man. The, everybody knew that was going to be good. So it's kind of hard. I'm like, oh, I, I like the idea of like what happened before. A prequel? Did they spin -off? give us a date? Did they say when it's coming <clears throat> out? No. Um, I, mean, I, don't, I'm not gonna, I don't think. I'm going to reserve my judgment until it is released. Well, yes. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm not going to decide whether I should or shouldn't watch it just because uh, of what this news article is about, you know. 
Um, but I guess it's doing really well. I mean, it says that the, um, the first two seasons on DVD right now are one of the top selling box sets on Amazon. Mm -hmm. And that um, they get more than two million viewers a week. Which for a cable show is a huge success. Oh, dude, for a digital like tier yeah. cable show, yeah. that's like, oh, they're losing the show though. NBC's picking it up now. Yeah, well, NBC's picking it up, but I don't know because it's weird. Like, there has there's a relationship with NBC and Sci-Fi. Right, of course. There has to be because yeah. now like Sci-Fi, they're airing episodes of Heroes. Hmm. You know what I mean? So yeah, I think sorry. it's one of those things. You'll still be able to watch it on Sci-Fi Channel, but you will also be able to watch it on on NBC. But I will say. Good for good for uh, NBC because I think one of the reasons why you're only going to get two million people watching it is because who who fucking watched Sci Fi Channel? You know I, what I mean? Like dude, when was the last time you flipped on and you're like, oh, let's check out what's on Sci Fi? Well, I did the other day because I was waiting for Battlestar to come on and like right. the show before it was on. Mm -hmm. Oh, such crap, man. Well, that's the problem. That's not like that, that's not your <clears> only <throat> good show that I that I know. Well, Eureka is actually pretty decent. Uh, you know, honestly, I'm only great, I'm judging it on one of the shows. So what I don't was really the other know. show? You don't. Even I don't know. know. There's robots running around and they look like they're made out of. Stuff like like Most they look like are made out they look like they were like cardboard like <laughs> robots. It was really bad. It was it was not good. Anyway. Well, anyway, uh, so so we're gonna save judgment on that. But I am gonna start watching uh, Battlestar Galactica. Yep. Galactica. You have to report back on how that goes. I will. And if anybody does the mod, the Roomba mod, send us a picture. A picture, because Kevin wants to buy it. That would be huge. That would be huge. Uh, small, but whatever. Next story, Steve Wozniak. <clears throat> why I carry twenty thousand dollars with me at all times. This is crazy. If this doesn't get Steve Wozniak mugged, I don't know what would. One thousand eight hundred sixty-nine people took the story submitted <clears throat> by NDM 7 I've got about twenty thousand dollars on me at any moment, <laughs> which is about the usual. Cash has always appealed to me more than means of uh, payment than card. <laughs> <laughs> I need some beers. I was going to say, with, yeah, right. Properly. You can't read properly in this. Uh, great interview wrong. with Waz discussing his feelings towards finances. So this is a, you know, I read this and I was just like, oh, I feel, I'm like, he's going to get jumped. He's going to get jumped it, at a tech uh, conference. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, there he is. He's got 20K on him. Get well, him. I mean, he doesn't carry, no one can carry 20K in their wallet, right? Sure. How? $20,000 bill. There's no such thing. Well, you can make one. <laughs> Two thousand. Two thousand one dollar bills. No, hundred dollar bills. Hundred dollar bills. So that's a big. That's a. That's what we call a, a stash. <laughs> I, know. I don't well, even think that would fold. I have a feeling he probably keeps it in his car. Yeah, maybe. Because I'm not gonna say what he drives, but he, <laughs> he, he drives a vehicle where it would be safe if you built like some kind of chest or oh some right. Type of oh, he safe does drive in there. one of those, doesn't he? Yeah. So he probably built a safe into his car, and then if he just needs some cash, you know, you walk into something, you want something, your was. Go out to the car, grab 10K. And like, I got to go to the deal. ATM real quick. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I'll the take funny that thing is, he, if you read the article, he doesn't really, um, he's not big into like keeping track of all his finances. He's like, he's okay. like, he said, like, maybe I have $40 million, maybe I have $80 million. Like, he doesn't know uh, all that stuff. Like, he has a, a guy that runs it for him, that does good, all that for him. If you trust that guy. Yeah. And right? You're like, I have this guy, he's great, he only cost me $30,000 a year. <laughs> and he's like, you motherfucker. Yep. Oh, I just wrote myself a check. <laughs> he, he, <laughs> it's, it's probably, I don't know, he just seems like, if you, you've met Waz, he's yeah. just very laid back and very chill like that. It yeah. seems like that's just kind of the kind of guy and how he would be, you know? It, is, it doesn't surprise me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, he's the guy, because do you remember when he came onto the screensavers? Mm -hmm. He left that pen. Do you oh, that the shocking, shocking pen. pen. That's right. I still have that. Do you? Yeah, it's in my car. He's he's a huge prankster. Yeah. Like he loves to do anything he can to like just you know just have fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was fun, dude. We had so much fun with that pen. We were like, how did you? How would oh, you sign your the hand? And then it was so great because somebody would sign like like would go to sign it and they'd be like, Bzz! oh, and they were like, Any have you told anybody about that? <laughs> and then, they'd, take it and the then they'd be going to the next dude, guy. It, that thing. I know. Like seriously. No, I know. Shocking pen. You're like, oh, it was like a mini stun gun inside the pen. It you like, fainted. <laughs> it would almost <laughs> That's drop awesome you. if you're like, oh, anyway. Bzz, uh, boom. <laughs> and you come back up, you're like, wow, what, what happened? It, it was really, uh, I was pretty shocked. That was bad. We need a drink. Yes, we do. That's all right. So Steve, Wazzy, cutesy, I don't know. Uh, whoa, watch yourself when you're walking around with 20K in your wallet. Yes. How much cash have you, how much, what's the most cash you've ever had in hand? 
on me? Yeah, like in hand, in cash. Oh, I don't know, not a whole lot. Maybe like, uh, probably when I was going to buy something, like a car or something. In cash? No, I mean like oh, a like thousand dollar car. car. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> I'm not yeah, talking right. like a twenty thousand dollar car. I'm talking like, uh, I don't know, I bought uh, a couple years ago. Remember that car I bought for 500 bucks prior? It was three hundred dollars. You mind. bought a car for three hundred dollars. Dude, the thing was, the nice thing about three hundred dollar cars, hear me out, is that you can do whatever you want with them. <laughs> well, we left it. it you know, it had so many parking tickets. I'm like, oh, I'm not even gonna bother. It just got towed. <clears throat> That's awesome. <laughs> well, what are you? And now to? the police know. No, no, the, but you know, they impound them, they sell it in the lot, and yeah, they make the money back yeah, or whatever. Money, yeah. But for uh, selling that three hundred dollar car. I don't know, maybe a couple grand buying a computer or something like that. I don't yeah. know. How about you? 10K. Really? Yeah. For what? I'll tell you later. All right. Uh, <laughs> good times, lovely story. Uh, and I don't usually have 10K. It was just one time. Uh, oh, next I know story. what it's for. Yeah. Next story, it's screenshot tour, Windows Vista Mail. Mm -hmm. 650 people dug the story submitted by Fat Mike, who's actually skinny. Uh, screenshot tour and overview, which is a very interesting description. It's interesting when people are like, Story title, story description, same thing. Yeah, cut and paste. Cut and paste, bada bing. So, <clears throat> you actually were one of the people that was like, we should do this, let's cover this, look, look at this. And I will have to say, you're, you're the... you really disliked this out of the gate. I mean, before I even looked at the screenshot, you were like, look how blah, 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 blah. And I was like, all right, I'm going to take a look. It's the new Windows Mail. Look, one of the things I will say about Windows Mail is it has never been good. Right. I mean, when was the last time you, anybody used, like, Outlook Express? Like, whenever you use Outlook Express, it's more confusing than convenient. You know what I mean? Like, people are like, this kind of blows. Uh, and then they want to try to get you by selling you Outlook. You know what I mean? Like, they'll be like, look how great our program is, but, oh, you can't do that. Well, you could not look. Oh, you can't do that. Well, you could not look. Right. Here, buy Outlook. And, you know, for me, I'm like, <clears throat> the other thing is, I, I'm done with Pop Mail. I'm done with Pop Mail. I mean, ever you want since all Gmail, mail, yeah, 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 because I want my mail on my laptop, on my other laptop, on my girlfriend's computer, on that. my home computer. You know what I mean? Like, there are advantages to doing it locally, though. Like, I, I do all my mail now on on my machine yeah. and download it all. Well, but you also that thing's tied to your butt. I mean, you can't. You, right. I, you don't, I don't go out to dinner without bringing your right. laptop. That's true. You know what I mean? With me, it's like I don't. I, I bring this most places, but like if I'm gonna go visit my girlfriend, I'm not. Bringing my laptop, I'm just right. going. You know what I mean? Well, I still have webmail for other things. I can <clears> use <throat> Gmail and stuff like that. But um, I don't know. I was looking at this application, and it, it's clear that... Uh, it's, it is an update. Look, all right. Here's the I thing. I just wish... It's an update. It's an update to uh, Windows uh, or uh, uh, Outlook Express. Well, it's, it's a skin. Outlook it's a skin. It's a skin for Outlook Express. There's some more... There's more functionality underneath. I know, underneath. but I wish that Microsoft would do something different. Like, if you look at that... That is Outlook Express with the skin on it. Right. Like, I hate, like, look at the upper right-hand corner there. You see all those buttons? Yeah. It's like buttons of, like, grids and, like, a printer icon underneath a piece of paper. And, like, some of those, I understand what the printer one does, but... That's address book, calendar, search, yeah. view. <laughs> view. Yeah, views. That, that, if you hit that, it probably would give you a different view. Of I, the... Well, see, that's the problem. I just don't under... Look at, look at the way Apple Mail looks, okay? You get all your nice little features here. I have smart folders over here that sort different types of mail depending on what I'm doing. Uh, you know, I can flag different messages. I can set up, you know, like, different conditions to say, you know, automatically sort these in this order. The search is lightning fast. It's not well, like but, a separate okay. window. All right, but look, we're not. You're not looking at this going. The search is not like no, fast. It's a screenshot. <laughs> you know the best. You know the best feature of uh, of Mac Mail. I have to say is this right here called Bounce. Yeah. If there's an email that you get from someone that like uh, you know you don't want to respond to and act like you didn't give them your email address or something. Yeah. You can click Bounce and it sends a bounce back through the server so that they get a message like they never received the email like you never received it. That is fucking shady. <laughs> that is so fucking shady. <laughs> Kevin, no, it's if not. I, it's how built. is that not shady? It's, You're like, oh, that no, no, no. chick. It's for spammers. Bounce. It's for spammers. It like, is not. Yes. So, okay, so here, if I send you an email, you can just bounce it back to me. Send me one. Okay. I don't so, know what your email address what? is locally. You know what it is. Uh, I'm going to type some. Here, I'll type it right here. What's that? Oh, yeah, right, right. Um, one of the things I was going to say is that... Uh, if, if you get what spammers do, is they'll send out bulk spam, right? Right. And what will happen if the if the address is yeah, not it, valid it or doesn't back, exist, it'll right. bounce back. And they they'll read do. that bounce and they'll remove it from their list. 
Right. So here you can bounce back like anything that. You yeah, but what want. I want to know is, can you like? I, I think that's really shady to be able to no. bounce people's. What? I will say though, I clicked on a Viagra ad the other day. Uh oh. Just because I was, I was curious, because it looked so legit. Not that I want to buy any online, but just that I want to check out like. You know, I, sometimes I want to see what they're doing, what, what the scammers are up to online. Yeah, yeah. And dude, I clicked on it and I screwed myself. Now I get like ten Viagra ads a day. Yeah, dude. And they're good. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> no. They're so good. Those ads are fucking. Ca <laughs> they catch you. You don't think you want Viagra, and then you read these fucking emails, no. and you're like, Yes, I do want Viagra. No, it's not that. It's Did the, it come in? I it's the fact that they're 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 good in that um, they get by all your spam filters. There it is. Now there's okay, Alex. I see it. You've bounce. Read it. Bounce. Would you like to bounce this? Yes, I would. Boom, bounced. Now uh, check your mail. It will come back bounced. Give it a minute. I will give it a minute. Or we can come back to this in a bit. But dude, do, I mean, uh, post office. Let's see. The original oh. message received. The following had permanent fatal errors. Look at that. Did not receive it. Jesus Christ. I don't know, Kevin. I don't know. That seems so cheap. That seems so bad to me. I right? Don't know. It's nice. But I mean, I'd use the functionality. I'm not gonna lie to you. But right. I'm just saying, like, it feels <laughs> exactly. like it feels like, you know, I like the idea though that you can be like, not only is it spam, but bounce back, bounce back, bounce back, bounce back. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. it's almost like f you to the spammers. Right. I, I think it may do I just nothing. Feel like, la, la, la. I still get the spam, so it's probably not even doing anything. Yeah, right. But it gives me that. It's that all right. Nice well, let's get back. Feels let's get good. All right, but let's get back to the Windows Mail. All right, Windows Mail. Um, <clears throat> and look, they have the search bar up here. I mean, it's like it's not like. They're, they're definitely trying to do some new stuff. I, I mean... I just don't see anything new there, I guess, is what I'm, what I'm saying. When, well, you, when you have five you know, years... First off, if years, it's going to be new, it's going to be in the guts. It's not going to be on the out... Because there's not so much you can do. I mean, maybe you're like, oh, look, the file you know, browser is on the other side. I mean, there's not much you can do with a mail well, browser. I guess that's just disappointing to me, you know? Well, you got what, five years and you're not going to add any new functionality to the mail application? Maybe there is. Maybe I just can't yeah, see it Yeah, maybe there mail. is. Yeah, I mean, it's just this is just the welcome message. <laughs> is, there, is there anything else in there that they have screenshots of? Uh, yeah, they have screenshots of, let's see. Oh, oh they have phishing the stuff. Ad, Oh, that's nice. So that they say, like, oh, this is probably a phishing site. You know, don't watch that. Um, they have a uh, message filter Click rules. Click on the contact management. That always sucked in freaking uh, <clears throat> Outlook Express. Well, because it was what they wanted you to buy Outlook. So this looks, you know, I mean, yeah, I mean, favorite links. I mean, it looks very Windows-ish, I yeah. guess. Yeah. I mean, look, at the end of the day, it's it's Windows. This is the this is the Vista-ized version of Outlook that you know what I mean? Like it's not you know it's not going to be crazy because they're also still probably selling Outlook. I mean I'm, I'm not, I would be surprised if they were like oh yeah by the way there's no Outlook. Yes, because with contacts especially in Outlook Express it was like you can save a name and an email. That's it. If you mm -hmm. want to save any information, you got to go to Outlook. But again, I'm not a fan of local mail. I'm still waiting for. I don't know. I'm still waiting for that one product online that really. Just well, you know, I was everything. using uh, Yahoo's uh, upgraded mail system the other day. Their yeah, new I have beta. That. Yeah, yeah. It's good, man. It's pretty good. It, it's, it's horrible on anything under 800 by 600. Oh, well, who's doing that? Well, dude, a buddy of mine has his, like, old computer, and he was on Yahoo, and I was like, <laughs> well, he was, I was like, oh, you should check out the beta, because everything was cool. You could see everything. It was, like, 640 by 480, you know what I mean? But you could see everything, and it may have even been 800 by 600, and I told him, I was like, oh, yeah, upgrade to the beta, and... He was like, I can't even fucking read my, I can't, I can't get at anything. Well, dude, tell your butt. Well, it's he, not it, his fault that his computer sucks. Get him a computer. I know you're gonna have, buy him a computer. You have an extra computer laying around. Not one better than the one he's got. That does, he, the max he can do is 800 by 600. Yeah, he's got a little itty bitty monitor. Huh. I'm just saying, you you start to get to that thing where you're like. Yes, it's great <laughs> that it looks gorgeous on 1600 by 1200. That's great, but at the end of the day, what does version the of Windows is he person, running? XP. Uh, that doesn't make sense. I'm telling you, dude, he's got this small monitor. You could probably drop it down, but you couldn't, wouldn't be able to read anything. Well, I'm just, uh, that's interesting. I mean, I'm sure the computer could output at, you know, 10, yeah. 24 by 768 or whatever, but I'm just saying that that was one of my things about the Yahoo beta. Because I, I have it. I mean, when I go to Yahoo, it's the beta stuff. That's my spam thing. So I don't know. So Kevin's got to bug up his butt that this is not. You it's know, not that a I jump hate it. Forward. I just I don't know why. Why to it me is. it's this is just what I would expect for Vista Mail. I would. I mean, what was it? I would never want to use the the built-in mail system in XP. Yeah, I'm curious to see. When I was on XP, I used uh, Outlook all the time. <clears throat> yeah, me too. So I'm curious to what the new Outlook looks like. 
We'll see. I'm, I'm excited. I mean, I'm, I want to. I was actually thinking about installing Vista on the laptop, um, just so I could have it and then try it out and poke around. But I haven't. I haven't. I haven't, mm. I haven't actively pursued getting into the beta. I haven't either. Yeah. I do want to try it out though. Oh, I'd love to. Next story. <laughs> Apple Bootcamp 1.1.2 <laughs> released. 736 people dug the story submitted by Dimpaired. Dimmock. Uh, <laughs> Dimmock. Bootcamp 1.1.2 beta contains several updates and is intended for all new and previous bootcamp users. All right, so I know that you really don't want to talk about the old I, Apple I'm okay. Box. You could, dude. I, I've started to use my Mac more. I will, I will, I will explain that's right. why later. That's right. Uh, one thing I do want to say about boot camp is that this is, I, I have this really strange feeling about the future of Apple. Okay. They are starting to embrace Windows in ways that you never would think that they would. Okay. Let me give you an example. So they announced that you could do a boot into Windows and everyone right. thought like, oh, that's interesting, right? That's kind of yeah. cool. Uh, I can understand that. Just give the Windows people or the people that want Windows, you know, their their thing, their little playground. If they need to reboot and go into Windows, sure. Okay. They've announced <laughs> that they're going to be integrating somehow, or they one of their VPs let it slip, that in the next version of uh, OS X, they're going to have integrated Windows support. And it seemed like it was going to be built into the OS, meaning if you wanted to launch an application uh, that was Windows-based, you could do it directly within uh OS 10. Well, now that's starting to get pretty hardcore. Right. Now, now listen to this. With the latest update of Boot Camp 1.1.2, mm -hmm. uh, they're allowing you to do a couple of interesting things. One, they've added support for built-in eyesight cameras. Into XP? Into XP. Mm. Now, what they've also done, is they've added support for the microphone. They've added right-clicking. Uh, this just... It's really weird. Mm. Just, you see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, I have a feeling. I mean, if you think about it, they launched iTunes for the PC. Yeah. If, iPods work for the PC. What would you think about them starting to eventually port their other applications over to XP? Meaning, like, you could run, say, iPhoto or iCal directly within XP or Vista. And somehow, eventually, I'm not saying right away, but making the switch. I know people are going to say I'm crazy, but Dvorak no, already, right. people already said right. yeah. Dvorak was that, crazy for saying this a long time ago. Yeah, but the, eventually Mac moving over. Yeah, skin on top of Vista or whatever. Yeah, exactly. There would be that the best features of the <clears> Mac would be incorporated into Vista somehow. Because, I mean, the fact that they're adding built in eyesight support. Yeah. For for, uh, for Windows. Yeah. That's weird. That is weird. Like, why would you do that? The, well, they uh, here's why they do it is because you know you have that little this right. is a camera, right? Yeah. So it's like you would you know boot camp yeah, in and you want to eye chat or you want to chat on XP and you want to like well I have a fucking camera. It's yeah, right but there. you're encouraging people. I'm cursing to, a lot this episode. That's okay. Sorry. You're encouraging people to use Windows. Like, what are you doing, Apple? Like, you, why are you? This, these, the best. Well, things, but you're encouraging. Well, but you're encouraging people to use Windows on, on a, a machine that you've purchased from Apple. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean. Right. Like, but you have to understand that where Apple really rules, and some of the things that they do best are things like video conferencing. Okay. Uh, some of the proprietary apps like iPhoto, stuff like that. Their their applications are really what makes them so cool. I mean, the OS is stable. Blah blah blah. That's great. Yeah. But. Um, I don't know, man. I got this really weird gut feeling that we'll probably see them starting well, to port some of their apps over to Windows. Well, I don't know about porting their apps over to Windows. I mean, because I, I mean, would you want? First off, it, you couldn't have people pay for iPhoto, right? Well, I mean, no, no. I'm saying they could give it away. You what? I'm saying that they could give it away, or what? I think most likely what they would do is create a well, bundle. Well, they? Well, look, I mean, yeah, like iLife, you right? Know, 100 exactly. bucks for I whatever. iLife for uh, XP, and it's 100 bucks, and you get all the freaking, you get to do a, the iSight communication because that's a. There is no application well, iChat, on iCal, the mail program. I mean, all that stuff would be. I would I would use iCal if it was on. And my iChat Mac. for sure. I mean, my PC. I just am not on my Mac enough. Although now I'm on my Mac more. If you could do video conferencing with <clears throat> iChat, would you do I, it on no, your PC? No, video conferencing is stupid. Why no, would... it's it's awesome. Have you used it? Prager, sign an iChat real quick. Prager's across the room. Got his video, uh, he's got his uh, iBook. Yes, I can also see. We're, <laughs> we're both signing on and watch this. Prager, you're not signed into iChat. I just did. No, no, your camera's not activated. I just signed in. To iChat? Oh, there there it goes. All right, there we go. Okay. So click the button, one click. Here I am, chilling. And you waiting look for a very response. Like you're chilling. From Prager. Click the button, David. 
Damn there it. There we go. Prager. Look at that. What? Nothing How happened. How cool is that? Nothing changed. Prager, can you see I me? I see you. Turn it around. Take a look. Now you gotta show this the There's me. The Where's camera. Prager? See? Oh, hello there. See? Okay. That's cool. Turn around to the no, 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 it's all right. We'll figure that. But where's Prager? That's it's the whole. It's not fucking... working. I know it's not working. That's the whole no, point. No, we're on the same network. It's uh, the packets aren't getting routed correctly. Yeah, but I don't. The packets are getting routed it correctly. Is, it, is it is. All cool. right, but okay. We've but... done Prager. We did a four-way chat the other night. Okay, right? I don't need to hear any about your <laughs> sexual experiences with iChat. It was all cool. I'm saying is, okay, that's fine. Well, you know what? Maybe I'll try it when I get home. I'll iChat you and see, right. see if it's really exciting or or not. Anyway, I, well, look, I've been on my Mac a lot because I do, you know, Heather has a podcast thing that she's been doing, um, and I've been editing it. And I was I wondering edited, if you edited that. Why didn't you put your name in the credits? Well, because we didn't do credits. Well, you should. It, and do it said at the beginning, it's like uh, my buddy Ted did the intro for it, and the intro starts. The it's intro's got, like, pretty long. Name. You gotta oh, trim it down a little it. bit. We're dude. cutting it. We're doing it. It's all in the works. Oh, yeah. But, um, but yeah, no, we don't. I mean, credit, whatever. But. Uh, yeah, so I've been started. I've been doing. Um, I've been editing that show on my Mac using Final Cut, mm. and uh, you know it takes. I mean, it takes a while to edit a show and compress it and do all this stuff for it. And so I spend my time sitting there, you know, checking my email, surfing the web. I mean, doing all the stuff on the Mac. I actually ended up having to go and buy uh, OS X 10.4. Good. Because I had to upgrade it in order to use Final Cut. It was a whole big nightmare. But um, <clears throat> but I I don't dislike it. I mean, it's. I've never been uh, really disliked it. I just, I, I enjoy PC more. That's you fine. know what I mean? Like, I enjoy playing all the games that I play on a PC. Well, I enjoy, you know. Honestly, the games is, is what kills me. I'm thinking about getting a Mac Pro and dual booting into XP. Yeah. And then just playing all my games on the Mac Pro. But the problem is that the memory that they use isn't DDR2 for the Mac Pros. Oh. They're, it's like high-end server RAM, like ECC stuff. Yeah. So it's not as fast performance-wise on the memory End, ah. and it's got you know it's dual core dual processor so there's four cores and like that the Windows and the game doesn't know how to really use that yeah. correctly right so you're actually not as fast as a high end uh, like 64 P4, yeah, like yeah, yeah. you know chip so anyway uh, but it is still very fast for gaming so sure. hopefully I heard a rumor the other day okay that they're uh, going to be announcing an, a a computer that is based on the the better gaming processor yeah. and putting in a better gaming card and it would be kind of like a smaller version of the Mac Pro because the Mac Pro is very much like workstation, dual right. Xeon, yep. like yeah, hardcore yeah. stuff. No, 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 yeah. um, so if you think about it, it makes sense because they have... They the, should, if they did that, that would be a big shift in starting to break into Microsoft's game. If they actually said, you're a gamer, this is a Mac that will boot into Windows that is optimized for gaming. Well, I think they're going to do that next year once they can boot and integrate both into one OS. Like, we'll yeah. see that at the beginning of next year. Uh, maybe not Macworld January, but uh, a few months later. Yeah. Um, but anyway, they have the product line. Because if you think about it, this is the MacBook. They yeah. have the MacBook Pro. Right. Now they have the Mac Pro and the iMac. So there's no really Mac. So there's gonna be, they're going to create something uh. just called the plain Mac. So it'll be the Mac and the Mac Pro, the MacBook and the MacBook Pro. Yeah. So anyway. Well, whatever. You just lost me. But uh, <laughs> Macs are interesting. Yeah. I mean, I like the fact that they're integrated because it's like, you know, at the end of the day, I mean, you know, the difference is, is, ve is very cosmetic. You know what I mean? Yes, mine does that now with the widgets. You like that? Yes, it's, I, I enjoy it on my Mac. Mine does that as well. <laughs> yes. And with my PC, I, I have the clock. Yes. And it's got a date. <laughs> so anyway... That's good. Good luck with Apple. We will see what happens. Yep. <coughs> Next story. Blender destroys a bag of marbles. 958 people dug the story submitted by Yukon Cornelius. Best dig name I've ever heard. Oh, <laughs> not bad. Um, how not to use your Blender. This has bad idea written all over it, but it's still fun to watch. So there is a company Blend called Tech. Blendtec, and this guy... Has this? It's like this test guy, and what he does is he does. It's this this thing called will it blend? And so they blend. Oh. Look at it. It was full. I know. He blended an he entire. He blended a a, a, a can, can of, of Coke, and it was full. Look, he's blending a a garden. A garden tool. Tr trimmer or whatever. Uh, so what he ends up saying. <laughs> well, seriously. I'm serious. Well, so what he does? Yeah. What? So he takes 50 marbles, puts them at the in the blender, 
puts it on the ice cream setting, because I guess that's where you <laughs> crush marbles. And then he crushes the marbles, and then he like opens it up, and it's like this vaporous gas of glass that comes all right, out. All right. This guy he, is a dumbass, dude. Like, what are you doing? I can understand a can of Coke. Look at that. Look at that. Look at he's that. He's like, don't breathe this. He's like, this is gas. He's like, he's like it's, yeah. It's, it's glass. It's uh, glass fumes. fumes. Like, what? Who? That's horrible. That would, that's like, that would and, cut the crap out of your lungs. Oh, my gosh. Right? I mean, that would take your lungs and just. My lungs hurt pooper. just looking at I that. I know, right? Just think, like, <gasps> all glass oh. dust in your lungs. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's not good. So I thought, this is sort of funny. It must be like a sketch or something stupid like that. Well, it turns out it's actually the a company that does like high-end home cooking supplies. Dude, the blenders look kick-ass. I'm not going to lie to you. Those blenders look like, well, it looks like they can blend some fucking marbles. Right. Because they can. And look, they have like a juice dispenser. Oh, that's nice. And this looks like bubble gum. <laughs> bubble gum? It does. It's not. It's like berries being crushed, but... <laughs> Uh, it looks like they have an ice cream maker. Maybe a, that's maybe a breadstick maker. <laughs> I don't know what they do, but they have a lot of different. They have a lot of different stuff, um, and it's called blendtech.com. What happened to the Juice Man? Is that he got still fired? Alive? Do you remember that? Fired. You, yes. Is he still alive? No. Yeah. Oh, yes, he's still alive. But they fired. They had this like woman that took over this young woman, and he got all like mad and sued the company. No way. Yeah, because they were like, uh, dude, he's the juice man. I know, but they were like, you're too freaking old. You look yeah, like your skin's fine, falling though. off. I know. Everybody would do it. So they replaced him, and he got mad and sued. <laughs> Everybody would do it. Everybody would do it, dude. You juice, it's juicy juice. Dude. I like juice. That's nice. <laughs> well, whatever, juice. Although juices, oh dude, they made peanut butter. Oh, that's nice. Do you know what I made? Quick, easy, and healthy snack. This is uh, people are gonna think this is stupid, but I actually made hummus one time in a blender. Hummus? It's good. It's just chickpeas, man. You you throw a bunch of chickpeas in there. Okay. Throw a little bit of garlic, a little bit of olive oil, tiny bit, and then and just. (laughs) Just Just blend it up. Put the ice cream setting on, and dude, you have like hummus. Awesome. Oh, a little bit of lemon juice too. And you have great hummus in like two minutes. Wow, I should yeah. try the magic bullet Dude. that I have. Oh, you're a bastard. They sent you a magic bullet? I want a magic bullet. They only bullet. sent one. I couldn't. I wish they How had sent are two. How much are the, I, I'm going to get the P.O. box up in San Francisco. Dude. How much is the magic bullet? Because that thing rocks. I think it's like 14 bucks. 100 bucks. 114. Here we it's go. Magic bullet. Buythebullet.com. Ah. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. Two for the price of one. 21 piece set. You got two. This is two. Dude, it comes I did in not. A two piece I did set. not get two. They would sent me one. They didn't buy one and have it shipped to me. They you probably sent me gave your girlfriend the other one. Is what happened. No. Ninety nine dollars, dude. No way. And forty dollars shipping handling. This is what kills me. Forty dollars shipping handling for a little tiny bullet. It comes with a whole bunch of crap. It comes with it's two full twenty one piece sets. I bet you it comes in a little tiny box. It does. They gotta have it protected. Three payments of thirty. Oh, that's not too bad. <laughs> Three payments of 32. Oh, maybe I can do that. That's not so bad. I you know what I mean? When they card. split it up like that, it's like, yeah, it's Well, that's so why they do that. All right. They never mind. tell you the total. They're not like, I this is $5,000. They're like, 25 easy payments of $1.25. Have, have you ever wanted to get that, uh, that Bowflex? Yes. I've Everybody it. has wanted it. it at one point I've or thought about it. Because you see it late at night. And those ads, and there's that one, the guy's like jacked, and he's like, whoa, now I've exercised. And I it's know. like, that's it? That's all you have to do I to know, look like that guy? it looks so easy, and the bows, they, 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 they flex. They flex. <laughs> <laughs> the bows flex and stuff. But it folds up, and it could easily fit underneath your bed. That's what they say in the ad. I don't know. It looks like a good device, but you just wonder if there's Here's really the... that negative resistance that you need for true muscle building. Uh, I don't know, Dr. <laughs> that's Science. What they, that's, what they said ad. that's what they said in the ad. They're like, it has the negative resistance the that you need. The true negative resistance you need in order to blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Um, my problem is, is that whenever I do like buy stuff like that, like I went out and bought like uh, jump rope, and I was like, oh, just jump oh, rope every day. Shit. You know what I mean? You really like, buy jump rope? Yeah, or like I bought, you know, like uh, uh, dumbbells. It's like, well, I'll just do a couple reps every day. It'll be great. And I never fucking did that. Never shit. do it. So even if I bought a home gym, I would never use it. You know what I mean? Like I know myself too well. Well, it's it's the fact that it's at your home and you're too lazy to leave your home to work out should be a, a kind of a sign. 
What? Do you ever know anybody that is like been like, oh, dude, my home gym and is like ripped? No. 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 People no. that are ripped or in good go shape, to a gym. they pay for a trainer, yep. they go or they go, go to a gym to a with gym. a friend. Yep. Uh, you know what I've been doing a lot lately? Um, rock climbing. Rock climbing, and it's great because you don't even. I mean, you don't, you don't feel, feel like, like you're working out. out. You just yeah. go out there and you climb. And uh, I, I just did a uh, for the climbers out there. I'm right at 11B now. Prager, is that where we're at? 11B. Prager can't quite do 11B. I've done 11B. You one time. What the so hell are you guys talking? What the hell are you guys? No, talking I did 11C about? once. What are you guys talking no, about? No, there was that one route in the corner. It's like a rating system for how hard the climb is. I was like, stop talking. <laughs> I don't understand what's going sorry, on. Sorry, sorry, it's sorry. like my parents are arguing. <laughs> and I'm like, please stop arguing. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> I love how sometimes we tap into like childhood badness yeah. and we're just like, like all right, uh, let's, uh, let's move on. I was like, I want ice cream. <laughs> oh, Where's terrible. my sister? <laughs> that's horrible. My parents never fought. Uh, anyway. Right. Uh, Last story of the day. Is it? I think you have one after me, actually. Nope. Nope, that's nope. it. Nope. Wow, last story. Okay. All right. Yep. The <clears throat> Missing Secrets of Nikola Tesla. That's awesome. 829 people dug the story submitted by Chris Sick, which is a great submitter, by the way. Documentary uh, phenomenon, The Missing Secrets of Nikola Tesla. Yeah, Chris Sick had one at the top of the show. Did he? Yeah, Galactica. Oh, shit. Um, anyway, this is, a good, this is a great little documentary that's on uh, Google Video. Cool. And uh, it's about an hour long. I did watch the entire freaking thing because I went and saw that movie, The Prestige. Yes. And uh, it was a good movie. Good, isn't it? Yeah. And yeah, they yeah. had they had Tesla in it, and, and I was, was like, so cool. I was like, all right, I know some of this stuff that they showed. There was true that he did. Yeah. And so I'm like, I, I've always heard about. I mean, obviously, you learn in school and, and all that stuff a little bit. Like and they, from listening to Tesla. And you know, I used to listen to his podcast. And I'm <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. You never he heard. invented podcasts, didn't he? Yeah, Back he did, in 1812. But uh, it was a really interesting thing. I mean, this guy. Uh, his whole, like, he had really good intentions. He yeah, wanted free, free power for free everyone. Free power for everybody. He, he came up with a way to wirelessly yep. send power. Like, he could do it, like, 15 miles away. Through the He air. could, like, hold a light bulb and it would, like, light up because he was sending power wirelessly. It was yeah. insane. The inventions and patents. He had, like, 700 patents under his name. Yeah. Uh, he's, uh, Edison tried to freaking crush him. Yeah. And there was this big war. And, I mean, he really didn't get the recognition that he deserved. Well, they said that his backers, I don't know if this was in the thing, but they said that his backers, basically, there was no way for them to track usage to monetize uh, electricity over the air. Well, that and, and every time it was, he made, dude, you got to watch this documentary. It's really I will. cool. Because what he did is he would win these awards, right? And he'd go to these award ceremonies. And you got to remember, this was like back in the day. You yeah, know? it was like 1890 something. Yeah, something or like that. Prager's looking. I don't know. He's our fact checker. We're like, look at that. Prager, look up Nicholas, Nikola Tesla. <laughs> so what we did is. Look up uh, St. Nikola Tesla. So he'd get these awards, right? And, and, and they'd, they'd bring him up to the podium and he'd go up there and like people would be like, oh, you did a great job with this invention. He'd go up there and he'd be like, I see a future where people can transmit images of each other over the air. And like he was like predicting like pieces of the internet and other things Dude. like, you know, a long time ago. That's and awesome. And people thought he was crazy. So in the wow. end, he couldn't get any backers, like financing, certain yeah. people would drop out because he was known as kind of this crazy guy. Yeah. But in reality, going back now and looking at his inventions, yeah. he was a genius and, and just it's, freaking brilliant. Well, the, yeah. Oh, he created a death ray too that could kill people. It was crazy for the government. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. He could point a gun at people and they would die. And he, uh, no, he, <laughs> I don't know who he's calling. Uh, he, Perry, can you get that real quick? Yeah, hold on. Tell them we're doing podcast. Yeah. Um, is that your cell phone? I don't know. Because you got that new cell phone, by the way. It looks cool. Anyway, death ray, real quick. One of the things that he said about the death ray mm. is that uh, he created this 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 being that could basically like it would end all wars, right? Cool. I like that. Right. So what he did is he took a little piece of the secret of how to create this device. Yeah. And he sent it to every country, every major superpower at the time. So they sent it to oh. Russia, they sent it to yeah. China, they sent it to the United States. And so he said, you know what, if you really want to figure out how to create this thing, you'll all have to get together and collaborate and work together uh, so that, you know, no one country can we'll control this power. Death ray. Right, he didn't want, like, you know... Like, Kazakhstan. Right. Uh, I don't know what that is. <laughs> 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 so, uh, anyway, um, that, was, uh, that was Tesla. Well, actually, it was funny because... Um, I went over and I was hanging out with uh, Liam, mm -hmm. and uh, I was telling him I'd just seen the Prestige, and I was like, oh yeah, Prestige is really cool. And he was like, you know who I'd love to see a movie about? Tesla. And I was like, 
Tesla is in this movie. And then he said that there was some other like Russian scientist or something that was using sound. But he was using sound waves in this way that it turned out you could like the vibrations of the sound waves could like cut through solid rock. That he did this like there's video like uh, film of him with like this orb uh. and plugged in, and he would just walk and it cut like a six foot gouge in solid rock. Oh, I don't like that shit. But then he said the other thing. You was drop that, that thing and it's over. I know, but then the other thing he said is that um, it would he could change the molecular makeup of things to make it lighter. So he had like all these like crazy huge generators and stuff that he had in his lab that he moved in himself. And there's no way he could have done it. See, it's stuff like that that freaks me out because they were talking about this in t with Tesla and they said yeah. that he created this tower like to do all of exper his experiments and the government yeah. ended up knocking it down because they didn't want him to do this stuff. But like, he, when he turned it on and he was doing his experiments, there, the, there was no fish for like 75 miles, like it was near the water. Yeah. Like all of a sudden the fish kind of retreated and shit. <laughs> you awesome. Know what I mean? No, it's not awesome. That is awesome. Like the fish is like, no, the fish is, what the fuck is no, the, that? <laughs> is that an electric tower coming through the Let's go. Back it up, guys. The, no, the, the, the fishermen would go out yeah. and they'd drop their nets and they wouldn't get anything. And they're like, and Tesla's like doing some shit. Yeah, Tesla's like crank, crank. That, hey! That's not <laughs> like, Damn it, Tesla! You, you know machines. there's gonna be like a, you're gonna have a huge growth like yeah. ten years later on the side of you and you're like, now this is there. Yeah, you know what I mean? he's just like, nah, this is my, this is my friend Bill. And he's like, hey. <laughs> he's right on the side. <laughs> but he, he's know, like Waddell or whatever. I just don't want that kind of crap. That's what freaks me out. Well, it's hard because nobody knew. I mean, the other thing is, is that, yeah, it's all fun and crazy, but I mean, there's a reason why it's not now that we're doing the same stuff. You know, maybe it is because it's like, wow, sending electricity through the air means it goes through people and causes, you know, death, gangrene. Right. Whatever. Gangrene, I don't know why. All right, uh, that's it for stories, yeah? Yep. Uh, we would like to thank our sponsors, of course, GoDaddy. Keep your private information away from spammers, hackers, and your crazy ex-roommate. Private domain registration from GoDaddy.com protects all your privacy by keeping your address, phone numbers, and more out of the public database. Plus, enter the code ALEX, that's A-L-E-X, when you check out to save an additional $5 off any order of $30 or more. Some restrictions apply. See site for details. Get your piece of the internet, GoDaddy.com. Yes, and thank you to, to Bob and GoDaddy for inviting us up last time. Oh, yeah, it was great. We had a lot of fun. Oh, we had a blast. It was we really cool. We had a blast. And we met a bunch of people out at that place afterwards. Yeah, that was cool, too. Yeah, that was pretty fun. That was pretty fun. Good times. Cashfly. Cashfly delivers your podcast, <clears throat> video blogs, and digital media from locations all over the world. So if you've got popular content, like any of those we just mentioned, then you need Cashfly. And if you don't have any popular content and you don't create stuff like that, then forget about them. That's it. You don't need them. F you in the pooper. Uh, we have uh, a picture. Uh, yes. Uh, that is from Sam. Hi, Sam. Sam writes, hey, Alex and Kevin, I am currently going to Utah. Oh, sorry, not Utah. I'm not, I'm not drunk. I'm currently going to UT in Austin, Texas. Hook em horns. I recently traveled to <laughs> the, right. famous big, the famous big Texan 72-ounce steak for a project. <laughs> oh, my God. That's a this steak? This guy, he goes, this is effing huge. He went and had a 72-ounce steak with his Dignation shirt on. There he is cutting into it. Oh, my God. That is a steak. That's a cow. That is a good portion of a That's cow. That's a good portion of a cow. And his buddy's got one, too. His buddy's like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, they're both looking a little bit like, Really? Are you this gonna... reminds me of, do you remember the, the big, uh, I think it was like the big 69 or whatever from uh, 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 The Great Outdoors, remember with yes. John Kerry? Yes, we had to eat it all John to get Candy. the free dinner, yeah. Yeah, and he's like, but there's nothing left on that plate but grizzle and fat. And she's oh. like, well, and he's like, no. That's, that is a good looking steak. It's That's huge. A great, I haven't had a steak, steak in a long time, man. I some steak. I normally don't eat red meat, but steak does sound good. Oh, steak sounds really good, like right now. Oh, I'm dude, hungry. Did you hear about their uh, mm -hmm. actually growing steak now? Like, like on a bush? Yes. <laughs> I'm dead serious. <laughs> no, PETA it's a filet mignon bush. Is, is cool with it because they're coming up with ways of growing it. Like, and they, you know, they spray it with water. And shit. No. Well, it can't dry out. But they're they're growing flesh on like the sides oh. of things. Oh. <laughs> would you eat no, it? <laughs> I would not eat meat that was grown on the side of something like a tumor. Yeah, but it it's just, a tumor steak. It, you wouldn't try it. Would you? No, hell no. Well, thank you. Why are you? All right, uh, next Pina's email's cool from Mike kind of Calvin. Fun. Of course they are, because they're like, well, if you're not killing anything, then fine. Uh, hi, Dignation guys. Hi, Mike Calvin. 
Uh, hi, Dignation team. I just thought I would say hi and tell you about a dream I had a few nights ago. Oh, In the dream, go, Alex, Kevin, and Prager called me on my cell phone to ask me to co-host Dignation via Skype. I had to get off the phone in a hurry so I could go buy a decent microphone before the show. And when it was time to start rolling, I realized I didn't have any way of getting back in touch with you. And that was the end. I know. Nothing special, but I guess I'm a super fan if I dream about Dignation. Thanks. Keep it up. Audios from Mike in uh, Norwood, Massachusetts. We should say, <clears throat> might not have been a dream. Prager does that sometimes. He does. He, he calls call fans, fans and, uh, and say, we need you ASAP. Run to Best Buy and buy a microphone. <laughs> Click. Like, you'll never hear from him again. <laughs> You're like, I got it. Bleh. That's how Best Buy. Best Buy is a sub sponsor. We, we should get Best Buy a sponsor. I don't know. Best Buy. Do you like Best Buy? I like Best Buy. I guess I like Best Buy because I go there and buy stuff. I'm trying to think, the only thing that sucks about Best Buy uh, is I don't know. I'm not. A, I'm not a huge. They don't have a lot of like the really random tech stuff that you want. Like I go to Fry's. Right. Right. To they don't have stuff. the little connectors and stuff. Yeah, and here. like zip ties and like you know. I got my stuff. TV there though. That's why I got my TV there. Yeah, they have good TVs. Costco's a good place for TVs, too. Costco's a great place for TVs. I got a Costco TVs. card, by the way. Did you? Yep. Good for you. 50 bucks. All right. You had, somebody was going to hook you up with a free one. I know. You never, you never hooked up. me up with it. Anyway, we got to run. We're running out of time. All right. Love it. If you want to check out any of the stories we've covered on this week's episode of Dignation, you can head over to dig.com slash user slash Dignation. Yes. And I dig at dig.com slash user slash Kevin Rose. And I dig at dig.com slash user slash Alex Albrecht. Also, if you have any emails, please feel free to send us emails at dignationfans at gmail.com. That's it for this week's edition of Dignation. I'm Alex Albrecht. And I'm Kevin Rose. Until next time. Watch your fingers. <laughs>